All right, guys. So today I'm going to be showing you this really cool card trick um, involving this three, this three card packet. Now, before I do that, I want to mention below that uh, if you feel like you're struggling as a beginner, or maybe you think you need to learn uh, more of like the fundamentals, the basic moves, make sure to click the link down below in the description box. That should be able to help you out. Uh, anyways, guys, here is the actual trick. All right. So to start it off, let's say we take the King of Hearts here, and let's say we move that one to the bottom, and then I can flip it over and show you guys that it actually comes back to the top and now let's say I move it to the bottom again as I can show you guys the king of hearts is going to come right back up to the top put it back to the bottom and the king of hearts is going to come back to the top so you're probably thinking that I actually have three king of hearts but in reality I'll show you guys that right here I have a king of spades I have another king of spades and I have a third king of spades so this is a trick guys and if you want to do it don't forget to stick around for the tutorial all right, so I actually first saw this card trick um, on a channel called A Million Card Tricks. I was just kind of going through my suggested videos. This one popped up, and I felt like this this is a trick that a lot of you guys should learn. And I want to redirect you over to his channel because um, it's growing, and I feel like he has a lot of potential on YouTube. So make sure to check him out, guys. Um, anyways, here's how the trick is going to actually work. So let's say what you want to do is you're going to be taking three cards here, and you're going to have two duplicates and then one kind of standalone, but you have to make sure that the standalone card um, contrasts. So in this case, I have the three uh, kings here, two king of spades, two, or one uh, king of hearts. So you start it off by placing the king of hearts in the middle, and then you're going to do a double lift. So all I do is I just pull down the bottom card with my pinky, and I have a two card packet, and I flip over the two card packet as one, and then I do the same pinky pull down, doubling flipping that card over and saying look I'm gonna go ahead and take the king and put this to the bottom and now you don't say I'm gonna take the top card and put it to the bottom you just say the king okay because it's kind of already implied when you're flipping over a card that's a top card so if you mention saying it's a top card uh, the spectator might have might be a little bit suspicious so let's say we take the, the card here and this isn't actually the king of hearts you move that to the bottom and then you do a single lift so now the king of hearts is actually on top at this point you say look I'm gonna take the king and I'll put it back on the bottom so you flip it face down you do a pinky you do a pinky pull down and now you have a two card packet on top and you take the block of cards here which is two cards and you say look I'm gonna go ahead and take the king and move that to the bottom now what you're doing is moving that double and now the king of hearts is gonna be back in the middle and then you can repeat the process as many times as you like you do your pinky pull down you do a double lift you show it this is still a double lift here. You flip it back over, put a single card on the bottom, do a single lift on top, and then you do a pinky pull down, moving that block to the bottom, and then you're set up to do the pinky pull down again. So you can do it as many times as you like, and at this point, once you've done the, the double lift, you move the single card to the bottom, and when you have the king on top in this position, what you want to do is move the king for real, and you put this actually to the bottom, and you say, look, I might, it looks like I have three king of hearts, but when you do is you put it in a middle grip, thumb over the top card. So you go one, two, three. And it looks like you have three king of hearts. At this point, you're gonna end up with the king on top. And what you wanna do here is pull the top card down. You say, look, it might look like I have three kings, but in reality, and when you say in reality, you pull the one card down, and then you push. As you can see, this is what it looks like. You have one card on top, two cards blocked on the bottom. And what you do is you push the middle card out a little bit. So now you should have the two, the top and bottom card, as you can see, are lined up. They're flush with each other with the middle card protruding. And what you do is with your right hand, you slide out the double packet. You kind of bend it so this way the corners and everything line up. You bend it and you show it to the spectator and say, look, I actually have a king of spades. And this is a double right here. You see, look, I have a king of spades and you put the king of spades down and then you put this card to the table which is going to be the king of hearts and you say look now I have another king of spades and then the last one so this is a trick I hope everything makes sense for you guys uh, don't forget to check out uh, a million card tricks anyways this is the video hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching